she was an extraordinary, strong, beautiful, talented, feisty woman, courageous, graceful, all of these things, an incredibly inspiring person. The film is set around a concert that the Wainwright McGarrigal family uh, did in New York City uh, last May at the Town Hall Theatre, uh, singing Kate McGarrigal and Anna McGarrigal songs. If I had wings like Nora's dove, I'd fly up the river. She first became ill in 2005. There's an amazing uh, group of people that perform in this concert. Firstly, Rufus and Martha Wainwright, her children. All of her family, the cousins, Emmylou Harris, who was an incredibly close friend of Kate's, Teddy Thompson, Jimmy Fallon, Nora Jones. All of these people knew and really loved Kate. So for them to be performing her songs was an incredible honor, I think, for them. Woman I love is and tall. You know, Kate McGarrigal was this incredible writer first, singer, performer, who mainly sang with her sister, Anna McGarrigal, the McGarrigal sisters. And they were real sort of Canadian icons. If anybody takes some sort of solace away from this film that has lost somebody, then it's been worth everything. You know, so many people die of these terrible cancers and we, you know, families have to watch them die. And I think it's just such a terribly painful and isolating feeling. And I think to see this family open up and take you on the journey with them is, 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 is very special and I think very generous on the part of the family, particularly Rufus and Martha. This was their mother. One of these days, and it won't be long, you'll call my name. I mean, structuring a film like this is quite hard because you have this sort of celebratory concert, but you also have this very difficult, heavy subject. There's no trickery in the film. I don't cut very much. I shoot very still. You know, I'm very interested in capturing that essence of a human being. I just really try to follow the true emotion and let them lead the film. Vim Vendors was a huge Kate McGarrigal and Anna McGarrigal fan. He knew, he knew all their music, also of Rufus and Martha as well. He came to my house to see some of this footage and he started to cry. And he said to me, Leanne, if I can do anything to come on and help you and be here and be a part of the film, you know, you have me. So it was a great honor for all of us to have him say that he will executive produce the film and be there. To be able to take her songs around to people that perhaps may not have heard her is a real blessing and I think the family is very happy about that that they've had a part in doing that too. But I think it's very hard for them to watch. It's very hard for me to watch still, but I think, it, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very hard for them.